Hello everyone, right, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run through using a Navionics app on the boat. Plain and simple, I hear it all the time about people asking, oh, or saying, but you need you need a cellular network, you need to pay for this, you need to pay for that. Please believe me, I have been using this app now for, for eight months on the boat. Um, on my phone, I've been using it for years. Now, once you've bought the app, all you need is a mobile device or a tablet that is GPS enabled um, so that it can find your location. That is all you need. You do not need to spend any money on SIM cards and mobile data, roaming and all that stuff. You literally just need a GPS signal. So if you're buying a tablet um, and planning on using it on the boat like I have that I shall show you in a minute, it needs to be a tablet that has GPS enabled on it. Um, so pretty much any new Samsung, um, a lot of the Apple products, only the new ones have the GPS on it, the older ones don't. Same with the Samsung tablet, the Samsung Galaxy tablets, which is one that I use, um, a couple of the older versions don't have it. So you do need to check on the um, stats um, and the information when buying these, but if you buy a new one, um, then it will have it. Uh, if you're buying it off of eBay, a second hand one or off a friend, um, just check. If you do a Google search, just check that it is GPS enabled. Um, otherwise, it will not work. Well, the, the app will work, but you will not get GPS signal and it won't know where you are. So, we're just going to crack into it. And I so, that is a Samsung Galaxy tablet mounted on. And I have been out in some rough seas and that is not going anywhere absolutely not moving around the back i have fitted oh look all that dirt <laughs> um so a 2.1 jack point so you can plug it in that is needed 100 percent needed um i just literally have it on and then i just unplug unplug the usb lead when it's at it's charged because you don't want to overcharge it all the time because then your battery life will die this is the little mounting it, literally this just slides off it's got a little lock thing on the end so you can take the tablet out quite easily and then i made this bracket up which just aluminium bent i should have cut these off i just still haven't got around to doing it um, and that's just bolted into through the back of this onto there and then the tablet is inside and that honestly is the best thing I have done I'm going to switch the tablet on now and I'm going to show you some of the features that you will get on this tablet on the Navionics app that would cost you an absolute fortune if you had to have something like the Raymarine or Garmin unit so the features that are on this app would cost you in excess of probably a at minimum of a grand on a GPS unit um, to get the same features that you can get on this app. So, let's... right then, so as you're all aware, the Navionics um, app has been out a long time now, um, it's forever improving. Um, little things that really makes it special um, is things like the tide chart, um, sorry, the tidal flow. So, if let's say we zoom in to I don't know, just any any random location. Now, you can see that tide flow there. Now, for example, straight away, you can see here there's a wreck. So if you're coming up and you think, right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this wreck here. Now, straight away, you can see the tide flow. So you know straight away, that, look at the arrow direction, you know straight away the direction of the tide. So when you're coming up on this wreck, you can literally come and position yourself perfectly. This is one that I haven't done, as you can tell, because there's no track lines or anything like that to help me when I arrive on the wreck. But you can just start here and just drift straight down over it. Boom, done. First drift, look like a pro to all your mates. <laughs> nice and simple. Also, you can click on it. It will then come up and it will open a chart, and that chart will tell you exactly what the state of the tide is so as you can see it's just past high now 
So it's in maximum tide flow now, um, and it is also saying it's doing approximately two and a half knots. Um, and not 25, that is 2.5 when it's down, um, when they're split up like that. So it's 2.5 knots. Um, it also tells you the tide. If you zoom in there, look, you can actually see it does actually say underneath the time, the height, um, the, the, the knotage, so 2.5. Um, and then same again on over the low before it starts to rise. So things like that, for me, makes this app, just that alone, makes it amazing, absolutely amazing. Also, if you want any more details, there's a button there, just literally click details, and then it will come up with the slack, the moonrise, ebb, sunrise, slack, flood, so all in um, lists there. It'll tell you the um, speed that the tide is doing. Um, and then it'll also go on to the next day as well. So you can just keep flicking through day after day after day with all the information you need on just that one mark. Um, and then also, if you want to find another one, you say you want to go and fish over here somewhere. I've got a couple of markers here. Let's zoom in on these. We can literally... Just click anywhere we want. Obviously with a tidal flow, you do need to find the nearest arrow. So for this one, it's looking like it's over here. It will vary slightly from here to here, but pretty much not at all. Uh, not much, a little bit of variation. So you can even click down here on the day and then you can adjust it like that as well. So also you've got a menu button, you can click the menu. Um, it comes up with loads of other stuff. So your tracks, your routes, um, chart upgrades, delete maps. There's just a, a phenomenal amount of extras that you can do on this. You can even have AIS on there now as well. Um, also another good feature, if you click the the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi sort of style signal thing, so you've got Navionics normal. So let's let's go into somewhere that everyone knows. We'll go into the shambles. Right, this is Weymouth shambles. So it looks quite standard now, quite normal. Um, you know, nothing nothing special. Click the sonar charts. So this is live data. Now, now you tell me what you think of that. Come on, phenomenal every nook and cranny. There's another little, um, another wreck here. Fished out a few times, to be honest with you. Um, there's no track lines on there, because the wreck literally does start, it starts from just beneath the line there, and it goes all the way up to here. It's quite, um, it's not very wide, but it's reasonably long. Um, you get quite a few pollock off there at the right time of the year. So yeah, I mean, look at the difference. Awesome, hey? Also something that is worth um, looking at is route to route tracking. Now on say something like this, the Raymarine Dragonfly 7, this does not do route to route tracking. It'll do route to route, but it will not go um, via it will not take you a safe route. It will try and take you through walls. Um, it will take you through anything you want to go through. However, the Navionics app, literally, click route, automatic, then say, right, I want to go to there. Then click that, it'll take you back to yourself. Click, like, uh, come on in, on there. And now it'll work out the best route. It will not take you through anything. Look, see, here we go. So it's taken me out of the harbour. Round the breakwater. And onto the mark. Same again, things like that. You pay an awful lot of money um, on a GPS unit that will tell you that. Also, you can input all your data of your boat. 
so it will tell you if you put in certain um, all your proper fuel consumption and stuff like that um, and the the depth of your boat um, it won't take you into any shallow waters it'll also tell you um, how long it'll take you on your rough whatever you put in that your cruising speed is it'll tell you how many liters of fuel you will also burn as well um, there's all sorts um, marinas and moorings and stuff if you want to go restaurants shops obviously your tides your currents um, absolutely perfect I, why anyone would not want to use this um, is beyond me it's a, a absolute thumbs up from me awesome bit of kit um, like I say if you're thinking about doing it don't hesitate just get your tablet on your boat it's um I don't I think I've struggled to go back to a normal GPS now unless I um come into a nice bit of money and I buy some new all singing all dancing bit of kit um, but to be honest I really don't see the need to now So that is it then, that is a look at my Android tablet on my boat. Uh, I run a Navionics app. Um, I look a cool Navionics sticker as well. <laughs> I have actually got a Navionics hat, but um, it needs to wash, it's really dirty. So I hope you enjoyed a quick look at it. So if any of you are honestly thinking about putting a tablet on your boat, I wouldn't even hesitate it. Um, I will try and find the link of the company that I bought the case from. It was off of eBay. It was cheap. It was about 11, I think it was about 11 quid. I can't remember. Um, it was cheap, like proper cheap. Um, the bit of aluminium plate um, was free. The bolts cost me about a pound 50. Um, so say 20 quid all in. Even if you had to get that bracket made by someone at a fabrication place and you just said, look, I want it to do this like this. Um, tenner say 20 quid max it's got to be the dearest metal worker in the world for it to cost 20 quid right um so say 30 quid you've got your bracket all made up um you know 30 quid it's not even going to cost you that to be honest but let's say worst case scenario 30 quid buy a second hand tablet um or most people have got tablets anyway um, and you've got the Android, the app already on them, and you're just thinking about all, oh, you know, researching marks at home. And that's where originally what I was doing, um, just researching stuff. Uh, and now I can take that, I can take it home, I can research marks that I want to fish, I can take it home, and then I can plonk it on the boat, and all the work's done for me already. I can just go, right, let's go and fish this spot, and we're off. Um, it's phenomenal. Anyone, realistically, if you've already got a tablet at home, um, and even more if you've already got the Navionics app I see people running around with um, little four inch screens and that it's so hard to to really pay attention to what you're doing especially if you're drifting a wreck now if I'm stood out on deck and I'm drifting a wreck you want to be able to see everything you want to see exactly where you are or if you're running across a bank say you were running across a shambles and then you catch fish and you want to quickly just glance at the screen and see roughly where you are where you've caught it so you can go around and do the same drift again afterwards if you've got a small screen it's hard to really see where exactly you are so you've got to come stop fishing come in have a look maybe put a dot on the chart or whatever but all the time you're in here you're not out there fishing are you um so that's why with a big screen as well you know that's it's not a small screen i think that was 11 inch screen or something like that I can see it as clear as day out on deck, you know. I can just glance at it and go, right, I'm there. And I can come back five minutes later and know exactly where I was. You know, it's it's like looking at a scratch on your car. You know, you, you know exactly where it is once you've seen it. Um, and that's the joys of having them tablets on here. It's a screen. It's so much bigger, you know. It costs you a fortune to have a GPS that size and with the functions that that does um, on your boat. It's just a no-brainer in my eyes. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this video like and subscribe um, I am going to come back again doing some lots more videos now um, I just sort of lost me lost me mojo with it all um, and obviously the new boat not many videos have been up of the new boat lots of my catch reports and photos and stuff have been up with the boat um, but no videos I don't think I've done, have I done any videos I don't think I have um, but I bought a new bracket now for the phone for outside to catch some footage um, so be sure to subscribe guys and uh, I shall see you all soon.